the White House now says President Trump had a previously undisclosed second conversation with Russian President Vladimir Putin on July 7th, the day of their two-hour and 15-minute bilateral meeting in uh, Hamburg, Germany. Uh, the uh, National Security Council spokesman Michael Anton said they talked at the end of the dinner event. "Quote: There was a couple. There, there was a couple. Oh, couples only social dinner at the G20. Toward the end, the president spoke to Putin at the dinner. No staff or cabinet were at the dinner at all for any of the countries. Uh, we, we only learning about this now." Wow. That, uh, uh, do we know how long he met for? Does that, uh, I, yeah, you can see the picture from the uh, couples-only right. dinner. You can see uh, the president uh, and President Putin and, and the two wives. Yes, and uh, we remember seeing those images of Melania Trump. Melania sitting next to, seated uh, Putin. Next to yeah. uh, Putin. But now the questions will be, well, what was discussed there? Because remember, uh, we got a readout initially from Rex Tillerson, the Secretary of State, out of the two-hour and 15-minute meeting. That readout didn't then quite match up with how President Trump described the meeting. He, he later on described to reporters he made a couple of attempts at talking to Putin about the election meddling and uh, then realized he didn't want to get into a fistfight and wanted to move on to other topics. Well, what Tillerson first told us out of that first meeting was that it was a robust and lengthy portion of the meeting was about election meddling. I wonder if this follow-up meeting, if this was part of the added attempt by President Trump to discuss election meddling? I would imagine not, since he thought that was going nowhere. So it begs the question, what was the content well, of that? Well, Jackie, why are we just learning about this uh, exchange, this conversation now? I can't believe the White House would keep something like this <laughs> from us. I mean, any, any contact with Putin, you'd think, would be disclosed at this point because of all the speculation with Russia. But uh, this White House is not transparent, and this apparently is another example. And you have to keep wondering, why are they putting themselves in this position? 